In this section, I am going to cover using block and assert on the EOS console and the concepts of why you would use them and the scenarios that each is best suited for. So let's take a look at an example to best illustrate the difference between these two. First, we have a lookup on stage and we have a sequence of cues. The first one is to do a slow fade to silhouette and then we bump to black. So let's look at that. So here we have our slow 10 second fade, leaving our performer in silhouette. And then we get a call to go to black, and we bump to black. Perfect, right? Now occasionally, and only occasionally, things don't always go the way they're supposed to in theater. So maybe in this scenario, we have to take the black out a little early because we have a forgetful actor, or maybe a stand-in forgot a line, or who knows what happens. But in any case, our fade starts to do uh, to take us into silhouette, and we now get the call to go to black. And we don't quite go to black. We have a move instruction to take our LED wall out, so that went out, and the other lights continued to fade. So my first instinct would be to put a block on my cue number five, which is my zero count blackout. So let's do that. Q5, block, enter, and that should have fixed it, right? So let's take a look. And again, we're fading. And yet again, we have a forgetful actor. And despite this cue being a block, we still did not get the blackout that we were looking for. So what happened here? Let's, let's, let's try to dig into this. Let's do a little CSI work on this cue and go into blind and verify that, uh, yes, indeed, I can, I can see that I have blocked values. They're indicated in white. I'm looking at my cue flags, and I can see that I have a full block indicated by the capital B. If I modify a level, let's say in Q1, I take channel 29 and make some changes. You can see that, yes, indeed, I'm, I'm, my values are tracking, but the block is holding, and everything looks good at that point. So what is happening here? Well, this is where we want to make the distinction between block and assert. What block is going to do is exactly what we're looking at here in channel 29. When I'm making edits, a block prevents those values from inadvertently tracking beyond the block. So that's how you would normally use block in, in tracking mode. You want to set a point in your cue list where changes do not, do not get passed, and that is a block. What an assert will do is something similar to that, but an assert is really designed for playback. What an assert does is it says this cue will play back every level in that cue, even attract zero. So it treats every value as a move instruction. So, if I make Q5 and assert Q, I should get the desired result. So let's take a look at that. I am uh, just going out, back out to live. I will hit Q5, assert, which is conveniently located right next to block. Enter. And I'm looking in my Q flags on my Q list, and I can see that there's an A for assert. And now let's see if that took care of the issue. So, we start our slow fade. We get our early call. And yes, the assert queue took care of the problem because it treated all values, even tracked zeros, as a move instruction. Now, assert will work even if that queue wasn't a block. So I will go ahead and remove the block on queue number five. And just for fun, let's go look at it in spreadsheet. And we can see that queue five has a bunch of tracked zeros, and the tracked zero is indicated by the dash in the cell. The assert will still play back that dash as a move instruction to go to zero. So let's take a look at that one final time. Now remember, Q5 is not a block, but it is an assert. So when I take that Q, we get our blackout. Now the nice thing about assert is that I can assign it to a Q like we've done here. I can assign it to a channel. I can assign it to an individual parameter of a channel or an entire Q list. And we cover uh, uses of that in a different section. But this is what we wanted to draw your attention to, the difference between block and assert. And something we want you to remember is always assert your blackouts.